Hi everybody, it's Thursday. I think it's Thursday. I think it's Thursday. So let's go with it being Thursday today. I woke up this morning um, kind of in a cranky mood and I was pissed off. I was pissed off at Beth because she wouldn't clean and cut the garlic. We were apparently making little appetizer things, one bite tastes of chicken and garlic, and parsley apparently, and Beth wouldn't cut the garlic. She just crossed her arms across her chest and said, no, I'm not doing it. And that's when I woke up. So I had to guess, I guess I had to cut the garlic on my own. They were big bulbs too. I don't know why Beth was being so mean to me. But she was. Today I'm going to tell you about our massage in Hong Kong and about pu'er tea. And the massage, also commonly referred to as foot massage, but the massage that we went to have was at this place here, Yuan Massage. And four of us went, Chun and Lisa and my sister and myself. And we had foot reflexology massage and shoulder massage. And I thought it was interesting because it says in here, your massage is inspired by the poem of Peach Blossom Spring. Doesn't that sound lovely? Um, it's a utopia-like place where people live naturally and enjoyed the true comfort of happiness sought after in olden times. And their um, principles, their founding principles are professionalism, environment, wellness, and smell. And during your massage, they give you cups of hot green tea, and then you get a, just wait for it, wait, you get herbal tea that is served during your massage, and following that, you have an exquisite dessert that will harmonize your total spa experience. Well, for the first two weeks when we were in Hong Kong, Lisa and June talked about foot massage. Now, I've never had allowed anybody to touch my feet as an adult. And I both wanted to go and experience this and not. Excuse me, I have to cough. <coughs> Pardon me. In Hong Kong, if you don't cover your mouth and you, when you cough, people give you really nasty looks. Anyway, back to the massage. I got convinced to go, so the four of us go for foot massage, and you sit in, I don't know, is there a picture of the chairs? I thought there was a picture. Oh yeah, here. See here? These are the, the chairs. And they recline and then an attendant, uh, no, an uh, expert, comes and gives you your reflexology massage. They put your feet in rose petal water, with the rose petals all floating around in the water for about 15 minutes before the guy comes to massage your feet. Well, first he did my shoulders and it was one of those pain pleasure things. He dug with elbows all across and down across my shoulders and down my back with his elbow. It's reflexology and reflexology can be very painful. In any case, on the whole, the experience was kind of nice. Um, told him about my foot problems and said, don't touch me in this one spot. And of course he had to investigate. And again, the pain pleasure thing. It was kind of painful, but when it was done and when he stopped, oh, it felt very good. 
We talked about going a second time, but we didn't get to it. And um, I would say it was pretty luxurious and kind of nice. And it was a lovely treat because Lisa took my sister and her mom and me and paid for it, which was lovely. Here is their business card, just so you can see. Beth says, and I guess I need to get over not speaking to Beth after the episode with the garlic. Beth says that she wants to hear everything about Hong Kong. So I guess I'm speaking to Beth again as I talk about Hong Kong stories. The other thing I wanted to tell you, and I have a picture to insert, and I'll do it right here. That was the store where I got my pu'er tea. And pu'er, I have a guide to pu'er. Pu'er tea is green tea. Can be black too, depends on how long they ferment it. I didn't like the taste of the black tea, but the green tea was lovely. And this is how they sell it. I couldn't afford the big cake, which was like a plate size and about this thick, hard like a brick. I couldn't afford that. It was in and around 3,500 to 6,000 Hong Kong dollars. Do the math, figure it out. So I bought this and inside here is four little cakes and each one of these little cakes will make, um, you can use it 10 times. So I guess in essence, 10 teacups of pu'er green tea tea. I haven't had it yet. I'm looking forward to an afternoon of pu'er. So anyway, the guide talks about how it's grown and where it's grown and how it looks. And it was a lovely experience and we had a little tasting at the Lok Cha Tea Shop, which was lovely. It was on Hong Kong Island in Central, the Central area. Um, the other thing I'm going to attach at the end of today's remarks about Hong Kong are a couple of pictures of dim sum. What I'm attaching are Su Long Bao, Su Long Bao, which is the um, dim sum that I've been telling you about that has the little um, little taste of broth in the in the dim sum. So I'm showing you a couple of pictures of those. And how you, well, I've told you how to eat it. I think I've told you how you eat it. But you dip it in the special red vinegar with ginger. And it's just, I was obsessed with them. They're wonderful. And finally, a picture of Lisa and me after our massage. More to come. That's it, that's all.